This is an MG Arnault Coupe. It was made by Bertone in Italy. Arnault was one of our U.S. entrepreneurs and race car drivers, and uh, he decided he wanted to have his own car company. And he had been at the Turn Auto Show and saw the prototypes to the car and absolutely fell in love with it. So he arranged with MG to have 200 bare chassis sent to Bertone in Italy, and then Bertone was to hand beat the bodies. Unfortunately, it was very uh, close in price to the Jaguar of the day, and the Jaguar sold very well with their six-cylinder engines. The TD engine in this didn't quite cut it. Um, it weighs, this particular car only weighs 60 pounds more than a standard TD. The, uh, because the hood, the two doors, and the uh, boot are all aluminum. They got, I guess, 65 of the coupes got built, 35 of the convertibles. Um, what can I tell you about it? If you can see, the car is really just a compilation of uh, MGTD. It has a standard TD engine. Uh, some of the later ones had a TD2 engine, which was uh, your 1250 with uh, the larger valves. The uh, boot carries a, the um, spare in, a, in its own well. It's a nice trunk. For those of us that have traveled with TDs and can't lock them up, this is really nice because you can leave your camera in the car. <laughs> um, the dash itself is a standard TD dash and the, uh, instead of having it as a smiling thing underneath the scuttle, we actually, he's turned it over and it goes over the top of the steering wheel. The taillights are TD, the uh, hubs and wheels are TD. This is, happens to be kind of an unusual one of the cars. This was the factory car. When they uh, needed to have a loaner, this is the car that went out. So subsequently, this was the last of the cars titled, and this was titled in 1956. So you can see that it took him a while to sell his first hundred Arnolds. The company was located where? It was located in Chicago and the cars were sold out of Chicago. So the order was, chassis went to Bertone in Italy, Bertone hand beat the bodies, and then the whole car was sent back to Chicago and, sent, and sold by Wacky here in the United States. The uh, hand-built bodies are kind of unique in that the doors on the different cars range in, uh, in range and length two and a half inches. So you can't take a part from one car and try to fit it into another car. It just isn't happening. The, uh, a lot of the uh, electronics on it were Marshall. Uh, the Bertone, of course, made Ferraris, Alphas, and, and Volvos, and so he tended to use the things that were available to the Italian designers rather than the English designers. So typically would have Marshall headlights, Marshall running lights, uh, the taillights, however, were a standard TD, the square TD taillight. Again, turned upside down. He modified that. It has a standard TD uh, wire harness. The wire harness had to be extended to get to the headlights and to the taillights, but that was the only modification he made in the original wiring loom from a TD.